you probably saw this, okay? You probably saw it on, it fucking made TMZ. Um, it made everything, everything new, every news source. And this happened a couple days ago, but it just kind of, I came across my eye the other day and I could not get over the comments and the fucking everything else. So politics, politics always make for uh, interesting conversations and interesting uh, tweets, mainly Twitter. Politicians and Twitter is like fucking comedy gold just waiting to happen. So I don't know, Kay, you might be familiar because I think this guy, uh, where is he from? He is from Winnipeg and he's a minister of economic development and jobs. Former small business owner, family man, proud veteran, Winnipegger, Manitoban and Canadian. So if you guys aren't familiar, check this guy out, right? This is John Rands, okay? Did you guys see this shit? Kay, you saw it, right? Okay. Just, I want to show you guys something and it's... We're going to read it, and then I want to get your impressions on it, okay? So let's scroll. We have to scroll a little bit. He's tweeted a few times since, right? Here's the original tweet. I can see it right here, okay? Now get this. Even after a 12-hour night shift at the hospital last night, my wife still has the energy to shovel the driveway. God bless her and all our frontliners. Time to make her some breakfast. What in the fuck? Look at the snow. This is this guy's wife, who was a frontline hospital worker in the middle of the fucking pandemic, who just did 12 hours night shift, and he's putting out on Twitter, giving her a fucking pat on the back. Now, I, I'm assuming that's what he thought he was doing. I'm, I'm going to try and go on a limb here and assume that he's, he's just so oblivious of how this comes across. And he just thought that maybe he's giving her a pat on the back, right? Like, holy fuck, look at my wife. She's amazing. This woman did 12 hours at the hospital, and she's shoveling the driveway. What an absolute beauty. I'm going to make her breakfast. I love it. That's not how this went at all. If, you've, if you're familiar, if you're familiar with the story or anything. Now, it's not a thing. Oh, this dude is off for three months because legislature is on recess, and he tweeted. He, oh, my God, this story gets better. What? He's been off for three months? Oh my god. Okay, so hold on. Hold on. No, no, here. I'm going to show you guys. The funniest part about this, this is what caught my eye the most, is the fucking comments. Now, it's okay. It's sure, okay. It, it's not necessarily a, a, a sexist thing or anything like that, right? If, if if it doesn't matter, man or woman or whatever, you want to shovel the driveway, by all means, fucking do it. It's sick. Hell yeah. Good for you. That's awesome. But we're in the middle of a pandemic. And this is a, parent, a frontline worker who just worked a 12 hour night shift. And you're fucking. And you apparently have been off for three fucking months and you have the balls to take a picture. It looks like she just started. Like she just started. You could you could still save this. You could go out there and do it. But look at these comments. Her hands look like this, so mine can look like this. Oh my god. 45.5k likes, 21.8k quote tweets, and almost 6,000 retweets. Look at this. <laughs> look at these comments. My wife just finished double shift at the ICU. I told her yesterday that my caddy shifting was a bit off. She surprised me by pulling the tranny and swapped the Johnson rod. I'm going to have a beer in her honor while she cleans up her oily mess. My wife just worked a 25-hour night shift at the ICU. Here she is finding time to pilot the Evangelion <laughs> Unit 02 to protect humanity from invading angels, prevent the third impact. Respect for our frontline workers everywhere. What the? This one's great. This is my favorite one. I should take a picture. Fucking, oh my god. <laughs> and look at, here's one. Here's someone calling him out because he tweeted something else before. Wait, you were up at 2.45 a.m. watching tennis while your wife was working a 12-hour shift at the hospital during a pandemic? Then you took a picture of her shoveling your driveway from the warmth of your home? Good luck, dude. I've cut people out of my life for a lot less than this. Look at this. 2.44 a.m. the night before. He's watching tennis. He's watching tennis. What is this man? Are you insane? It's it's insane that you even did this. It's even crazier that you thought it was a good tweet. What the fuck? This is why people should not have social media. Now, if you go, okay, <laughs> there's, this, there's lots of comments, right? You can go through. Look at someone's already edited Wikipedia. 
John Reyes is a Canadian politician and member of the Legislative Assembly of Manitoba, currently serving as Manitoba Special Envoy for Military Affairs, SEMA. He is apparently unable to shovel snow and makes his healthcare worker wife do it after a 12-hour shift while he takes pictures. A member of the... Okay, so this all, there's, there's just so much, right? But here's what the stuff that was getting me even more. If you go to this guy's profile, right? This story has so many twists. Now, hold on. So his wife, his apparent, apparently this is his wife's account, right? It was created. I don't know how to see it on here, but on your phone, you can see it's created in October. Oh, yeah, right here. October 2021. So it's right here. It was just, and it only had one tweet before this one. And the quote tweet is, all I wanted to do was shovel. So naturally, when this account was just created in fucking October, and this was the only tweet at the time. There's another one now, which I just saw. I don't know if I want to click on it, but it's there. People are going to assume that he either made a fake account, correct, or he told her, you need to you need to fucking cool the jets here for me. We need to do some damage control. Can you please get on your Twitter and tell everyone that you actually wanted a shovel and I'm not a dickhead that stood in the window and watched you do it. Please, can you get on your Twitter and tweet it? So naturally, people are dissecting this already like it's fucking, like it's nobody's business here. No pro, oh, look, she had no profile picture at the time, wasn't following anybody, and had one tweet. So, I mean, it seems kind of obvious here, right? So people are dissecting it. But hold on. So now the problem is, right, you're going to put something out like this, right? You make yourself look like a total douchebag. And like, hold on, Scylla said, I know someone whose husband would post something like that and honestly think he was being sweet. And here's the thing. I don't think anybody in their right mind would have posted something like this with the intent of being an asshole. I think he clearly thought it meant something positive, and he was trying to publicly acknowledge his wife. Which maybe, who are we to say? Maybe. See, it was also at least minus 30 without wind chill as it was happening. Like, the story just has so many layers. This onion is just so beautiful. But, like, maybe she did want to shovel, right? Like, we don't know that, right? And now we'll ever, we'll never know because even if she went on publicly and said, hey, I really did want to shovel, no one's ever going to believe you. Like, nobody's going to believe you. But, like, it, it just, she could have wanted to do it. Maybe she did, but that's it. it. This is always going to be it now because the way he worded that tweet is just so wrong. He could have worded it so different. He shouldn't have even tweeted it at all. He should have just either, well, if it were me or whatever, he should have just fucking went out and started shoveling himself, especially if he's been off for months and he was up till 2.30 or 3 in the morning watching tennis. He should have said, fuck this. It's minus 30. Get inside. You just worked your ass off too for a night shift. Let's go. I'll help you. I'll, I'll do this, right? And if she insisted, like, okay, I'm going to go inside and make you breakfast. Not, hey, I'm going to take a photo and tweet about it. That's the last thing I did. But the problem is when you post something like this and it goes as viral as it does, right? Your whole, that's all anyone's going to associate with you now, no matter what you tweet. If you look here, December 31st, before the incident even happened, he posted a beautiful photo wishing each and every one of you a safe and happy new year from my family to yours. All the best in 2022. And it's a beautiful family photo of him and the kids, the, there it is. It, it wants to load. It's just a big file. Look at that. And the dog, beautiful dog. Listen, what a nice, what a nice photo. And look what someone did already. <laughs> that's amazing. That's so fucking funny. Like, that's hilarious. It's just, but that's your whole life now. That's your whole life. Now you're the, whether you were trying to be nice or not, now you're the asshole that made his wife shovel snow in minus 30 after a 12-hour night shift at the hospital in the middle of a pandemic. While you were fucking off, no less. It's incredible. But you can just like, there's there's so many. You can go through all of these. You can just go through. This guy, did you make her clear off the snow from the bench before you sat down? <laughs> this guy has had the balls. He hasn't acknowledged anything as far as I know. He hasn't acknowledged anything. But he had the balls that after he posted this tweet, right, he went on and he's been posting. So, hold on, he quote tweeted or he retweeted his wife's tweet. But he's going on and he's posting about fucking tennis and posting about football. Here we go. Raiders, <laughs> Raiders in, Chargers out, Steelers in. Thanks, Raiders. So how much progress has the old ball and chain made on the driveway thus far? Your wife finished chopping that firewood yet? Get on that. Next winter's only a year away. Someone tell this guy that sports tweets aren't going to deflect or diffuse. It's the Twitter equivalent of spraying Old Spice. 100%. It's, it's, 
you're you're done. You're ruined. And you're this is why some people just shouldn't have shouldn't have Twitter. They just shouldn't have Twitter. They shouldn't have social media. Politicians especially. Like if you're anybody should really like guys, I, I see this type of shit. Not this, not to this level. But you see this kind of shit like with Twitter every day. People posting every single thought they have without really putting actual thought into it before they do it. Or posting about everything fucking tv shows or this or that and just throwing the whole life out there some shit you really need to think about it before you put it out there. like if you're thinking of, if you want to give your wife a compliment you can do that in a lot of different ways than tweeting it out in the manner that you did like it just he clearly didn't think any person with a thought or with a half a brain would have known that that's a terrible fucking idea terrible idea so now his whole, this guy's whole, whole, at least social media life is probably ruined. And in my opinion, deservedly so. Deservedly so. That was literally, I, I had to, I had to share it because like, it's just absolutely fucking insane to me what some people will put out online and just not know any better at all. So just fucking be careful with your, with your Twitters, eh? Because we might end up talking about it on stream one day. You 